What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel, it's just Aerie. Today I'm going to talk about another video, another video. Today I'm going to talk about the 10 foods that can help boost your immunity. Um, I'm also going to give you a few facts of each food that it not only boosts your immunity but it can also do other things for your generalized health. So if you're interested in what those foods are, um, please stay tuned and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to leave your comments down below on what type of videos you like to see. If you'd like to see more about health or more about foods that boost your immunity or anything has to do with mental health or fitness, anything like that. Um, I love to hear you guys' feedback and anything you think I could be doing better in these videos or could improve on. I would love for you to comment down below because it's just going to help me and it's going to help me create better content for you guys. So with that being said, let's jump right into the video. The first food that I have for you guys is the bell pepper. The bell pepper boosts your immunity, aids in digestion, promotes skin and hair health, and also protects eye health. So those are some things that I had no idea about before um, being presented with this information. Um, so I didn't really eat bell peppers a lot, but now I add them into like my salads, soups, stews, um, things like that. I also wanted to mention before I mention all of these foods that you can eat these foods raw if you like them raw, but if you prefer, you can cook them into something or eat them with a meal in order to make it taste better to you or to and maybe even eliminate the taste altogether because I know when I make like a jambalaya or a soup you can't really taste the vegetables you put in it so if you would prefer to eat something like that I would go ahead and give that a try but also just any way you can fit these into your diet it would be great and it would help you tremendously the second food that I have for you guys are blueberries Blueberries not only boost your immunity, but they aid in digestion, reduce inflammation, and promote heart health. Those are also wonderful things of blueberries. Now I know a lot of people don't like eating blueberries by themselves. I know my husband doesn't and my oldest son, he doesn't like to eat blueberries by itself. So I've been trying to find different ways to mix it in to something. Um, for them to eat it but I haven't quite found anything yet so if anybody has anything that you can do to mix blueberries in please let me know because um, I know that my youngest son he eats blueberries by themselves and I also mix it into like a oatmeal or a porridge but I'm also struggling with my oldest son to get him to eat oatmeal or porridge so if you have any ideas please comment those below because I would love to hear them the third food that I have are called Brazil nuts and um, they're like these little triangular shaped nut type things. Um, I'll put a picture up on the screen. They sort of don't have a taste. Um, and they're easy to eat and you don't need to eat a lot of them in order to get the nutritional needs or value from the nut. What the Brazil nut does is boost your immunity, improves your focus, um, promotes satiety and heart health. It also protects your body from oxidative damage and stress. So those are all great benefits of just this little bitty small nut that you can eat. And I believe they say the serving size is anywhere from two to six. So it's really up to you on how many you want to eat. But if you want to get the exact nutritional value for you, um, I would do research because it can be based off of your height, your weight, male or female, um, exactly how much that you need. So um, don't forget to do your research for any of these just to make sure you're getting the right amount you need for your body. The fourth food that I have are carrots. Carrots boost your immunity, aid in digestion, and they also reduce inflammation. So um, I know that people eat carrots with ranch. Um, ranch isn't the best thing, especially if it's not local or organic ranch. Um, it has a lot of stuff in it that we shouldn't be eating, but um, I can compare ranches and organic and non-organic. I can do a video on that if you guys want, actually, a separate video and compare actually a few things that I've learned throughout the 
time frame of figuring all this health food stuff out and um show you guys the difference but if you do need to eat ranch with the carrots to actually just eat the carrot then i would go ahead and do that because it's better to eat the carrot um with ranch than to not eat it at all um, also, uh, some other ideas that you can use to eat carrots are soups and stews and maybe as a side vegetable mixed with broccoli and cauliflower and just make sure that you season it up real good so that it tastes good to you. And number five food that I have for you to eat to that can boost your immunity is garlic. Sure, everyone has heard of garlic. Garlic can boost your immunity, also reduces blood pressure and promotes detoxification and heart health. Those are some great benefits of eating garlic. Um, now, I don't eat garlic by itself. Um, maybe some people do, but I usually just mix garlic in soups and stews and um, maybe just like use it as like a seasoning type thing to mix into like vegetables or um, just something that I'm eating or cooking for that day. So, um, if anybody else also has any ideas for what to use garlic in, <laughs> drop it down below because I'm still trying to find recipes for that as well. The number six food that I have for you is kiwi. Kiwi boosts your immunity, aids in digestion, supports blood sugar, and promotes heart and eye health. Um, the kiwi. So I just tried this one the other day. Found out my husband did not like kiwi. Of course. What does he like? I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> not a lot of fruits. I'm trying to work it in there though. But um, I also tried to get my oldest son to eat it and he ate a few but I guess he didn't really enjoy it as much as the others that he was eating, the other fruit he was eating. But my youngest son, he waxed it. It was gone along with all the other fruits. So um, I also will mention something about my youngest son. Um, it's also kind of harder for us to find stuff for him to eat right now because we found out he was allergic to milk, eggs, cheese, and peanut butter. And so it's been harder to find things for him to be able to eat. And um, my oldest son is not used to it because he was able to eat almost all of those things. And so the transition is a little different. But with the kiwi, he did eat it. And I like it too. Um, I don't think it tastes bad. And once I learned all of these health benefits, I thought it was much easier for me to force myself to eat these things. But um, not really forced. Because if you don't like something, you don't want to eat it. It's okay and I understand. Um, but try and find something with the same health benefits that you do like. That you can eat and substitute. Um, once again, these are just 10 of the foods that I have found that have been brought to my attention to help boost your immunity. And these are just the 10 I chose because I did think they were a little easier to eat than the others if you're just starting out to eat these things. The seventh food that I have for you guys that boosts your immunity is the mango. People have probably heard a lot of things about the mango rumors and stuff go around and it's possibly true i have yet to do my research on it to see if certain things are true if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about if you don't maybe you can do your research i'm not gonna mention it on this channel today some other things that the mango does is reduce inflammation and improves your skin health so i know that's really cool um i didn't know mango can improve skin health but um i do know that it tastes great i love the taste of mango um i also want to mention here that anything flavored these things like kiwi flavored juice or granola bars or nutrigrain bars or anything like that um or any mango flavored stuff that stuff's technically not nutritionally um beneficial for you to eat just because if you look at the ingredients it has a ton of other stuff like preservatives, chemicals, and other things that we don't need in our bodies. So don't don't forget, don't remember, so don't forget that if you do want these benefits, health benefits, to eat them in their natural state or at least mix them with something nutritious and healthy to eat. Um, that way you can get the benefits out of 
wait. If you're still here with me, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I am going to be coming more consistent, I promise, with these videos. It's just that I've been going through a little, hmm, period, and trying to decide, um, what to give you guys. I was a little discouraged, but I am back now, and I'm going to do the best I can to create great content. So, if you're still here, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like, especially if you like this type of content because it's going to be a lot more of this. But this heater thing keeps coming on and over cutting, over sounding my video. So, anyways, the number eight food that I have for you guys are mushrooms. Um, now I know what you guys are thinking, you mushrooms, I'll never touch a mushroom. Well, that's the same thing I thought when I was younger. I didn't like the look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it. But now that I'm older and I also know these benefits, it makes it easier for me to eat. So the mushrooms not only boost your immunity, they reduce the risk of stroke, regulate your blood pressure, and also promote heart health. So those are probably not the only benefits of eating a mushroom but those are some major benefits that I have learned about and I just thought to share them with you um, another thing is if you can't eat the mushrooms just by themselves or like yesterday I had some hibachi and it was just like zucchini broccoli onions and mushrooms um, in the way they seasoned it it was really good and I could eat it that way but if you can't just try and mix it into something mix it into a food into a dinner into a lunch um, that way you can um, get the benefits if you just absolutely cannot eat mushrooms or you just absolutely do not like them that's fine um, don't force yourself to eat something you don't like but just know that taste buds can change over time and also you should just give it a try anyway but if you can't that's okay try and find another food that has the benefits that the mushrooms do that way you can still get the health benefits that you would from eating a mushroom even though you're not eating mushroom <laughs> number nine food that I have for you that boosts your immunity are onions um, I know that's another food that people are just like eh, I don't know if I really like onions um, I was the same way I used to not eat onions I used to think that they were gross but um, as I got older I actually started to eat them I actually started to try them and give them a chance and honestly if you mix them into like a jambalaya or a soup or a stew you can't really um, get the taste anyway um, I also put onions on salads and those are usually just chopped up it's a little easier to eat but that being said um, the health benefits of an onion are boost your immunity reduces the risk of cancer that's a crazy benefit and it also promotes heart health so onions overall is like a great thing for you to eat and for you to just make sure that you're getting into your body the onions reducing the risk of cancer like that is just a major benefit like who would not want to eat an onion if it can do that for you for those onion lovers out there if you do have any favorite recipes please drop them down below I would love to hear them I'd love to actually try them out um, I'm trying to try out these new recipes every day all the time so that we can get a broader taste and um, just more foods that are nutritious into our life the number 10 food that I have for you guys are pineapples now pineapples are naturally sweet um they taste great both of my kids eat them and i believe even my husband eats them now that's one fruit that he does eat um not only does it boost your immunity they aid in digestion they support eye health and they can ease muscle soreness so um that's another benefit of a pineapple that i never knew of also um tip um if you are looking for like canned pineapple um i would stay away from the heavy syrup or any syrup really because that's just adding sugar to it and honestly the sugar is taking away from the nutritional value so i look for pineapples in 100 percent pineapple juice or 100 percent juice um just make sure you're reading your labels because you want to make sure that you are getting all of the nutrition 
value from that that you can without it being taken away and like I said in the beginning pineapples already have a natural sugar to them those are the 10 foods that I have chosen for you guys today um, I hope that it gives you a little bit more of an idea of the foods that you can eat um, don't forget that you can mix these foods in if you don't like them by themselves um, also don't forget if you really don't like a food you don't have to eat it just try and find something that supplements it for its nutritional value that way you can at least get the benefits that it had thank you guys for being here and i will catch you guys the next time see ya